job since the election. If I would have said that during the campaign, those people back there would have been headlines, headlines. More than seven million Americans have been lifted off of food stamps. Since my election, the number of new businesses starting in the great state of New Hampshire has skyrocketed by almost 25%. And you can't really go by my election. You gotta go by November 9th, because you know, the markets have gone through the roof since November 9th. That's the day after I won the election. So I won the election, the markets went up thousands of points, things started happening, you started doing things that you would have never, even though I didn't get sworn in until January 20th. But they refused to do that, and let me tell you, if for some reason I wouldn't have won the election, these markets would have crashed. And that'll happen even more so in 2020. See, the bottom line is, I know you like me, and this room is a love fest, I know that, but you have no choice but to vote for me because your 401ks, down the tubes, everything's gonna be down the tubes. So, whether you love me or hate me, you gotta vote for me. I had a businessman the other day, one of the most successful guys in the country. I've never liked him, never liked him. He never liked me, I never liked him. I see him in the White House. I said, what are you doing here? He said, I'm working to make sure you get elected. I said, you gotta be kidding. You don't like me, I don't like you. What the hell is this all about? He said, that's right, we've had our differences. I haven't liked you, but to be honest with you, Mr. President, I have no choice. I said, you're right, you're right. First thing I've ever heard him say that I agreed with. He's got no choice. We got no choice. Unemployment in New Hampshire has reached the lowest rate in actually 31 years, but within a very short period of time, it will be the lowest rate in the history of our country. So think of that. You have the best unemployment, you have the most successful state in the history of your state and in the history of our country. And then you're gonna vote for somebody else? Oh, great. <laughs> Let's vote for Elizabeth Pocahontas Warren. We have the best numbers we've ever had. Let's vote for somebody else. I don't think that's gonna happen, folks. I don't think that's gonna happen. Only with fixed polls does that happen. Unemployment for African Americans, you've heard me say this many times, I'm very proud of it. Hispanic Americans and Asian Americans have all reached their lowest rates ever recorded in the history of our country. Wages are rising quickly. Remember when I used to say, People have been working two and three jobs, making less money than they made 21 years ago. I used to say it all the time. Now I can say, for the first time in 20 years, wages are rising, and you know who's the biggest beneficiary? Blue collar workers. My administration is fighting to expand opportunity for citizens of every background and every race, religion, color, and creed. Very important. Because we are all Americans. We all share the same home. We all share the same heart. We all share the same dreams. We are all children of the same almighty God. But at 
the very moment when our country should be coming together to enjoy these wonderful blessings, the radical Democrats are trying to tear America apart. They vilify anyone who doesn't share their extreme views. They slander our law enforcement heroes. You see what they're doing with our police that we love. You see what they're doing? Has anyone ever seen anything like the water being thrown on New York's finest? Have you ever seen it? And I know a lot of New York's finest. They're not happy, they're not happy. And they are great people. These are great, great, proud people. For that to be allowed to happen is a disgrace. They view everybody as fascist and Nazis. They use the term Nazi. This was a term, you couldn't even use it. Now they use it like on a regular basis, a Nazi. He's a Nazi. Think of that. He's a Nazi. They couldn't use it. Now they use it. They accuse our heroic border agents of running concentration camps. And they do an incredible job. And the Democrats don't want to fix the loopholes or asylum. They do an incredible job, our border agents. And they look down upon the hardworking citizens who truly make our country run. But while the Democrats rage and resist,